Hello and welcome to the Skipscam Tech Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at using operation data to create different tool offsets for different features machined by a single tool to give us more control over individual close tolerance features at the machine. If we have a part with multiple close tolerance features, it's possible to get into a situation where adjusting the cutter comp offsets to tweak one feature into tolerance could potentially tweak another feature out of tolerance. So the question becomes, how can I assign cutter comp offsets as well as tool length offsets if necessary to different features using the same tool? With this part, we can see that we're using tool two to finish each of these three features. If I select this group of finishing operations and redraw the screen using control R, I can isolate the tool path associated with the selected operations. So if it would be helpful to be able to control the sizes of these separately at the machine, we can right click on operation four, for example. If we then select operation data, we can see and manipulate several of the cutting parameters for this operation. Two of the things that we can see and manipulate are the tool length offset for this operation, which is currently set to number two, and the cutter comp offset, which is also set to two. This matches what we have in our tool definition. We can see that tool two is set up to use tool length offset two and cutter comp offset two. Going back to the operation data window, we will leave the settings for this one alone using the default offset settings for this tool. Now let's look at the operation data for operation five. I like to select it, redraw the screen with the control R to ensure that I'm modifying the tool path I intend to modify, then right click on the operation tile and select operation data. Here, I will change the cutter comp offset to 22, but leave the tool length offset at two. This operation will now use cutter comp offset number 22, but continue to use the tool default or the same tool length offset as the first pocket. We can lock this change in so that even if we recalculate the tool path, this change will stay in effect. Now, let's look at operation six. We'll redraw the screen and we're looking at this pocket. I'll right click on the tile and go to the operation data screen. I'll set the cutter comp offset to 32 and lock that in. And for this pocket, I'll define the tool length offset as being 32 as well. Maybe we have a close tolerance for the depth of this pocket. We will now have independent control at the machine over the size of each of the pockets with our cutter comp offsets. And we'll also have independent control over the depth of pocket number three by using tool length offset 33 without affecting the depths of the first two pockets. These changes can be made at the machine just by adjusting the appropriate offsets. So we have tool length offset two and cutter comp offset two for the first pocket, cutter comp offset 22 and tool length offset two for the second pocket, and cutter comp offset 32 and tool length offset 32 for the third pocket. Now let's take a look at the code. I'll go to the posting page, select the post processor, give it a file name, and then process normally. We'll get our code in the Gibbscam code editor. And if we take a look at operation four, which I can jump to by double clicking here, we can see that our tool length offset or our height offset is set to two on the G43 line. And our cutter comp offset is also set to two on our cutter comp line call. If we go into operation five, we can see that we have not changed our height offset or our tool length offset, but our cutter comp offset is now 22 on the G41 line. So that will read a different offset for this pocket at the machine. And then if we go into operation six, we can see that our tool length offset is now 32 on our G43 line, and our cutter comp offset is also 32 on our G41 line. So this enables us to control these three features independently at the machine. Depending on what you're trying to accomplish, what you need to be able to adjust independently, you can modify cutter comp offsets or tool length offsets, or both. 
This is how to use operation data to modify tool offsets to give you more control over the size and or depth of individual features at the machine on close tolerance parts when you may need to make adjustments for cutting conditions on the fly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about using operation data to quickly modify settings for specific operations, or if you have any other Gibbs Cam related questions, reach out to your Gibbs Cam reseller.